Welcome to part three of our making a wind chime out of uh, milk tube plastic and uh, it's time to make the uh, gong that goes in the, in the middle of these pipes. It's also time to make the, uh, the uh, little flap at the bottom that catches the wind. So let's, let's look at doing that now. So to do that, we're going to look in the oven. I've already started some processes. On the top shelf, you're looking at a piece of, of uh, plastic. It's milk jug plastic. It's two jugs worth, and I've, uh, as it's melted, I've used a spatula to fold it over and then fold it over and fold it over, and so what you're looking at is a big pile in the middle. So that's, uh, that's on the top shelf. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to make it into this project or if I'm just doing it uh, for fun. <laughs> All right, on the bottom. Um, so the the wind, the wind catcher. Uh, so I'm I'm basically uh, using uh, these these uh, drink containers. So these uh, these ones here on this side, they're uh, they're like shakes that you uh, that you buy uh, for like like a morning shake, and you uh, I've got them all on parchment paper because I don't want them to stick to I don't want them to stick to my wife's pants uh, so as they melt uh, they're already pretty flexible I'm mashing them down and uh, I'm turning them into shapes uh, this one's in the shape of a hamburger basically and uh, I'm gonna make it make it into a uh, into a pentagon shape and uh, sand down the sides and have it be uh, a pentagon that sits in the middle of all of the pipes uh, so when the wind chime blows or when the wind blows it, it it smacks against this piece of plastic so the shape it's in right now isn't the shape it will end up it'll be a pentagon shaped hamburger patty uh, it's a little thick I might uh, you know trim it down a little bit uh, I also might just mash it down so that it, it works better uh, and then this is what I think is going to be the uh, the part that catches the wind uh, I had in mind something that was trapezoid shape, and uh, so as I melt these, I'll I, I can't do it with with one hand because I'm holding the camera. But I'm basically going to peel these off the edge of the parchment paper and set them on top of this piece underneath. And as they melt, I'm going to fold them over one another until I get a basic shape that I want, and then I can use woodworking tools to to make it look nice. So. Uh, Mmm, the smell of plastics in the evening. Uh, so, anywho, uh, I will pick up uh, the camera again once uh, I'm at the next step. All right. So the piece that I didn't uh, plan on using the milk, the clear milk drink plastic at the top. I've taken it out because, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. Here's how you make a sheet of of material that's that's the same thickness basically you, you you clamp it between two pieces of plywood and you use coins that's what these are these are quarters and so let's see if I can see well they're quarters you'll have to take my word for it and um, so you can't see them because they're tucked in down here and there's also another set along the back portion but basically what you're doing is you're you're setting it so that uh, this piece of material is three quarters thick and the way that works is you just tighten 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 until until all three sides are three quarters uh, and of course you have you know 75 cents in each uh, next to each clamp so that when you get to the right clamping uh, thickness uh, it'll stay so you leave this part alone and after uh, I don't know about an hour or so uh, I don't you can actually feel the heat through the wood so um, after about an hour or so, uh, it's not going to change shape anymore and you can take it out and even if it's still hot, you can run it under cold water and it will, it will finish cooling to the point where you can handle it and, and use it. So maybe I'll show you that here in a bit, even though it's not technically part of this project. So still in the oven, uh, is, is my hamburger patty, which like I said, is going to be the, the knocker and, uh, my, uh, bunch of of uh, bottles which have been folded over each other a couple of times and now they're just a big a big mass and I intend to make that into some kind of sail 
to, to uh, and it will sit at the very bottom of the string and catch the wind causing the knocker to smack against the, the poles. So that's not done yet. Uh, when it is, I'm not going to show it on video because I've already showed you the general process. I want the sail to be a certain thickness. This one, not so much because I'm just going to shape it with a sander, but this one I want to be flat and and uh, in a in a shape of a uh, uh, some kind of sail. Uh, so we'll, we'll get to that, but uh, I won't show you that part of the process because I'm basically just going to put it into a into a clamper like this. Uh, I'll probably go a dollar or a dollar twenty-five because it's okay for this that th that piece to be thicker. Uh, it's just going to sit at the bottom of a of a rail anyway. Ah, I didn't need to clean the oven. <laughs> I'll put it on a worldwide uh, YouTube video. All right. Anyway, uh, so uh, as soon as I have something more to show you. All right. So I have uh, let these things cool. This is what uh, four quarters looks like. Um, as far as thickness, it's really smooth and solid. This is milk jug plastic. I might have cleaned out the plastic a little more if I if I was going to use it for something that I was going to eat off of. <laughs> this, this is going outside. I don't care. All right. So this is the one that I that I did was just uh, just uh, jugs of of milk. So what I'm going to do uh, is is the uh, the thicker one. I have a plan. I just want to. I just want to draw a shape on it, uh, and the shape is pretty, pretty straightforward. I just want to draw uh, a sail. I just want to draw something that catches the wind, and uh, oh, that might be a little. I just want it to hang from the bottom. Eh, maybe, maybe cut that back a little. All right, and uh, the idea being to. Uh, to cut a shape out that will, all right, and I'll just put a, put a hole right there. I'll use the inside lines there on the sides. Uh, I want it a little bit longer. So you, you basically cut the shape out and drill the hole, and what you're left with is something that sits at the bottom of a wind chime and catches the wind. So uh, I can't film and cut, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, so now it's, that it's cut out, as you can notice, I didn't cut right up to the very line, and the reason for that is because I don't have precision tools. I just have my my crappy um, Chicago electric uh, a jigsaw. So, so the uh, it, it vibrates a lot, and I, I end up going on and off the line. So I, I usually try to get close to the line, and then I just have this uh, cheapo Harbor Freight um, sander, and uh, I just use that to. To sneak right up on the line. So as you can see, I I did that on on the sides. Ooh, well, I, there was another line there. <laughs> I did that on the sides. I'll do a little bit more, and but I didn't do that on the bottom yet. So I need to go ahead and take care of that. And uh, I rounded the corners a little bit at the top, and I think I might round the corners at the bottom a little too, just because uh, I like the aesthetics. And then I'll probably remove these lines with the acetone. So. Anyway, uh, so that's that's the process, and when you're finished, you have this piece of plastic that will never rot uh, sitting out in your yard, uh, making your wind chime jangle. So, anyway, the, uh, the sale, it's uh, pretty much done. Anyway, uh, on to the clanger. All right, here we go. So I've got this uh, labeled. So this is my gong. It's about three quarter inch thick. I made two co two copies of it because I think if I don't like how thick it is, because my other one is uh, about an inch thick. If I don't like how thick it is, and if it doesn't work very well, then I'll I'll mate the two of these together and call it two. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna cut on the outside of the line and then sneak up to it using this uh, sander. So. Uh, like usually, I'm not going to film my actual work, but I'll be back in a second. All right, so that's what they look like. 
I need to clean them up and bleach them so that they, that side's pretty ugly. Uh, maybe I'll scrape that a little bit more with the sander, but, but for all purposes, they're, 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 they're basically done. Uh, they just need to be sanded, bleached, and, and cleaned up a little. So I, uh, sort of getting long in the video. So, uh, in the next video, we will put everything together and fire it off. So that's it, right? We're ready to go. Woohoo! All right, I'll see you in the next video.